Well, ladies and gentlemen, it seems like the activists have sunk to an absolute new low. And when I came across this story, I really didn't know how else to feel other than having absolute rage build inside me, the likes of which I haven't felt in quite a while. So we have an article here from Fandom Pulse with a headline that reads Friday Night Tights comedian Chrissy Meyer pepper sprayed after comedy show. Now, I know a lot of people have an issue with Chrissy Meyer. And when I say a lot of people, I mean all the woke crazies that are on Twitter. But the issue is with this is that Chrissy Meyer is pregnant. And anybody who watches Chrissy Meyer or even looks at her Twitter feed will very much know that she's about I believe eight months pregnant and the fact that these cowards went about and pepper sprayed a pregnant woman and ran I, I really just want to single people well, you little, you little. I really don't know how else to put it other than that. I want to sh people. I want to sh these people because they don't deserve anything other than to be literally laid out on the ground and pepper sprayed in their eyes. And every time it heals, they should be pepper sprayed again. I, I don't know how many times, but we need to repeat it until it's literally like they're just blind. I, I, I don't like my rage makes me unable to even speak right now. So let's get into this article, guys, from Fandom Pulse. But of course, before we do, if you are new here. Just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into that YouTube algorithm, ladies and gentlemen. Now, the left in culture loves to screech about harassment, which usually amounts to anonymous users on site like Twitter next saying something mean about their obesity or their bad hot takes and being unable to take the heat after their relentless trolling of the fandoms where they're gainfully employed. The mainstream media access eats it up and makes martyrs out of these people, and yet they're silent when pop culture commentators on the right deal with actual damage. Danger. Yesterday, Nerdrotics Friday Night Tides guest and comedian Chrissy Meyer was assaulted along with several others at a comedy show. Now, again, I made a post about this on Twitter, okay? I made a post about this where I essentially said, if you attack a woman, right, and, and you pepper spray her and you run away at, like a coward, you're, you're just a coward. You're, you're a coward. You're the biggest coward. I really don't know what else the word other than to use coward, right? But let's, let's level that up a little bit. If you then attack a woman who's pregnant, okay? You attack a woman who's pregnant, you pepper spray her, and you run away like a coward. You literally deserve to be castrated. I really don't know what else to say other than that. You have to be uh, lower than dirt. I mean, what what is even lower than that? I mean, I, I don't I don't know. I don't know. Like, th the fact that there's people out there that can do stuff like that and think that they're doing something, you really think that you're doing something? All you're doing is making Chrissy Meyer bigger than she already is. That's all you're doing. And, and just for context, I'm not a fan of Chrissy Meyer's content. I don't watch Simcast. I don't watch none of that stuff. I just don't. It's not for me. But still, I can still understand and realize that you are such a bitch if you attack a pregnant woman like that publicly and openly and then run away. That's the thing. At least stand by your attack, right? If you believe in what you're doing so wholeheartedly, sit there and stand by it. Don't run away like a little bitch. Don't run away after you just attacked a pregnant woman because you know exactly what would happen if you were to stand there and, and stay by your decisions. You know what would happen. And that's why I cannot take these people seriously. They are all bitches. Every single one of them who partook in this. If it's one person, two people, whatever. You are just, I, I, don't, I don't know what else. This video is going to be heavily demonetized. And I'm okay with that because fuck these people. Chrissy Meyer is a stand-up comic who got her start in the industry on Late Night with Conan O'Brien. She's appeared on several programs and has garnered a large following from her truthful commentating and anti-woke stances, using her platform to defend people who have been unduly canceled by the mainstream media and their rabid followers. Her Chrissy Meyer YouTube channel has garnered nearly 100,000 followers with more than 30,000 followers on Instagram. She's a frequent and regular guest on the mega hit YouTube stream, Fighting Night Tights, which garners nearly 20,000 viewers every week. Self-described as a base stand-up comic, Chrissy Meyer has garnered a loyal fan base, and with that comes leftist detractors who won't stop at anything to silence her. Now, I think that Chrissy Meyer needs to figure out a way to make herself a little bit safer after every single show, because let's be real, as I said before, she is a pregnant woman. A woman already by herself is going to be heavily, uh, you know, a vulnerable, I should say, against people like this who are going to attack them and run away like cowards. So the fact that she's pregnant is only going to make it worse. And you got to imagine as she's pregnant, she's working, which is already stressful as it is. And then you couple with the fact that you got pepper sprayed in the face. And I'm sure that is very stressful and very detrimental to the baby. So she needs to uh, she needs to definitely get ahead of that. 
According to Chrissy Myers' ex account last night, she was assaulted after her most recent comedy show, along with uh, several others. She also noted that she's pregnant, which makes this even more of a heinous crime. She posted, after my comedy show tonight, during the meet and greet, some cowardly, you know what, I'm assuming, pepper sprayed me and the area, sending many of us into coughing fits, teary eyes, and running for the doors for fresh air. It seems everyone is okay. We're still trying to figure out who did it and why. It's a really effed up thing to do in a crowd, which happens to include a very pregnant woman. The worst part about being pepper sprayed after my show is that they waited like an absolute pussy and pepper sprayed me after my show. And that's the funny thing. They they must have either been at the show or they've been waiting literally outside the show for the entire duration of the show just to make sure that they could pepper spray her. So they sat there for hours in order to do it. I am sure there has to be a camera somewhere. There has to be something somewhere. Somebody out there knows who did this and they need to be public. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. I'm all for like certain kinds of torture. I know it's crazy, but I really am. People like this do deserve it. Like they need to be sat down in a chair and just like pepper sprayed in their eyes. And then as it slowly starts to heal, pepper spray them again and then just keep doing it and doing it and doing it until eventually either you're done and you're happy or they just go blind. Whatever happens, I, I really don't care. I, I don't. The reaction of calling out the attacker while showing has uh, she has no fear garnered her a lot of support among her fans and fellow commentators. Of course, Neurotic chimed in saying, what the fuck? Star Wars commentator and cosplayer Star Wars Girl says, holy shit, are you okay? Film thread purveyor and reviewer Chris Gore uh, said, horrified, glad you're okay. This person should be arrested. Please file a police report. I agree. If you haven't filed a police report, she does need to do that. So that way this person can go behind bars, even though I know they never will, because they are leftists and they go with the status quo. While the rest of the comments are filled with similar sentiments for this horrific assault on the comedian, Christy Myers seems to be taking this in stride and refusing to play the victim game that so many in Hollywood or mainstream pop culture abide by. She replied to one comment, I've been advised to take a shower and throw away my contact lenses. I really don't want to quarantine my outfit, though. I really like it. We can expect to hear more on Friday Night Tights next week, and it's good that Chrissy Meyer and her people are okay, but these kinds of incidents are becoming more frequent, and the mainstream media are to blame for encouraging their people to treat anyone who disagrees with them as Nazis. They need to be held responsible for emboldening and encouraging violence against people like Chrissy Meyer, Nerdrotic, and others in pop culture. There is no place for this be uh, kind of behavior. Listen, I agree with this article. 100% is short, simple, to the point with this story. Chrissy Meyer, like I said, I don't watch her content. I don't like Simcast. I, I don't, it's really not for me me and i get that but that, that i can separate that from the fact that you should never attack a woman like this like a fucking coward and you damn sure you damn sure should not attack a pregnant woman like this and i promise you that whoever did this absolutely knew she was pregnant okay if you know her content and you're attacking her because you disagree with her content or you think that she aligns a certain way politically, whatever the case may be, that means you actively watch her content. You That means you actively partake in her content if you know that you stand against it, right? You must. You must watch it to some degree. So then that means that you must have known that she was pregnant when you pepper sprayed her. You must have known that when you attacked her, you were attacking a pregnant woman, which just makes it that much more ridiculous to me. And that's why I hope this person is found. I am sure it probably was some sort a trans person or lgbtq who really knows but i guess time will tell if we ever find out who did it but i like i said i hope chrissy meyer is okay so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out <laughs>